So I finished my high school in Pakistan, which is my home country. And I came to the U.S. in 2004 to start my undergraduate degree at the University of Pennsylvania, where I majored in molecular biology and economics. I graduated in three years, uh, after which I directly started my PhD here at Carnegie Mellon in 2007. So my first interaction with the department was when I came here to interview, and it just felt right. That was it really influenced my decision to join the program here. Um, I love the faculty, I love the students, their dedication and energy towards the work really motivated you to do something different. Uh, Pittsburgh seemed like a very exciting place to live in. There were numerous resources available, there were opportunities for collaborations, and most of all, I felt the professors really cared about their students. I work in Dr. Charles Edison's lab, and it's a developmental biology lab. We use the sea urchin embryo as an experimental model to study morphogenesis, to study how an anatomy of an organism is encoded in its genome. My project in particular involves studying the sea urchin embryonic skeleton using a gene regulatory network which can be thought of as a system of interacting genes which can influence each other's expression. So I studied the network that is running in the cells that are responsible for the formation of the embryonic skeleton and try to understand how it drives development. I love the size of our department. Coming from a big school, I, f I love the fact that I know every single person in our whole department. It's a very close-knit community and I feel I can approach, I don't have to think twice before approaching any faculty member for any questions. And it's a sense of belonging which feels great. I think my advisor, Chuck Edinson, is one person who has had a great influence on me during my time here. I couldn't have asked for a better mentor. He's played a huge role in my development as a good scientist. And um, even beyond science, he's fun to talk to, he's extremely approachable. I can walk into his office anytime I want and he will never turn you back. Well, one thing I've learned is you need to have a lot of patience in graduate school to survive graduate school. There are times when things just don't work and it is really frustrating. And that's when students go through this phase of thinking, oh, it was not the right decision, but it's not. You started this for a reason and it will pay off. It just, it just requires some patience. Another thing I think is really important is students should start building up their resume as soon as they start graduate school. So apply for funding whenever there's an opportunity, present and attend at conferences. Um, they should at least start thinking about their next phase of life and gradually work towards that goal and earn that skill set they would need to um, transition into that phase because that takes a long time. 